oh my god, that really doesn't look right, but it is. Trust me, it's just my eyebrow. I need to pluck it anyway. And um, so let me twist this around. As you may know, I have cracked contouring. Yes, I have. Indeed. Because I went to Boots and I found this amazing flawless chisel cheeks contour kit. And inside it has the three most beautiful blending and contouring colours. And if you really, really stuck it, actually says, I didn't have to read it at all, because I just, you know, did it. Then I looked at it, and I literally did it the right entire way. That's a bit, I'm a bit wrong there up there. It looks really wrong on my camera, but it is not. Okay, so what I did first was I literally I bought this today and I find it really good, really brings out your skin down. Um, it Maybelline New York Dream Satin Liquid, and I think that's in the colour Ivory. Um, so what I did was I just. Squeeze them on my finger, kept taking some and putting it on my cheeks there and there on my nose. Um I wouldn't like to squeeze it on your face because I find that wastes that to so just put a little bit of your finger and make sure that you use it all because that is like a toe waste of um thingy. Yeah, as you can see there I just need to pluck. It isn't my concealer or anything. Okay, so after I did that, I got what I call um, a concealer brush. That's a really good brush for um, contouring, and that is from MAC. And then what I did was, I, did, I um, grabbed the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. Um, the actual brand is um, Barry L. Al. Um, yeah. Um, but if you go to um if you go to um boots and you go down where all the um foundation is and everything, um this was on offer actually. Um yeah, it's a brilliant contour kit. I, I love boots to go shopping and everything. It's amazing. So then I opened it up and I looked at all of these pictures and what they did was they told, they show you where you need to go with the light, where you need to go with the darker, where you need to go with the dark and the dark you really do not need to put a lot on, trust me. So it literally shows you right now. So there's step one and two and there's step three and that's using all of them. So that one's that, that one's that, and that one's that. So really, it's a really good contour kit. So then I got some white on my brush, and it still looked right, about that much. And then as it shows me, I need to go on my chin. So I'm going to put it on my chin. I'm going to go up my cheek. I'm going to go up my cheek. I'm only going to show you this um, thingy one only because I don't want to get those dark on my face. Down my nose and a little V shape with a stick. And then you rub it on. And you can rub it in with your fingers, what I prefer, or with your brush. Do you want to take with a mirror? <laughs> okay. And then, and then you have this middle brown. What you do with the middle brown to bronze, sweep the powder across your cheeks, so over the light powder, um, forehead and nose where the sun would naturally hit your face. So the sun would naturally hit your face on your cheeks, the end of your nose, the end of 
your nose and then your forehead if you have an open forehead like me okay so really all you get is the middle thing middle thing you get your brush you just make sure you've got rid of that light thing and then put it on there to go on top of the light then um halfway down your nose and then on your forehead okay what you do next is the dark brown to sculpt apply the hollows of your cheeks blending out to the ears along the hairline and down the sides of your nose so you get some on your brush you go one line up one line up and then you get it again and you go from there down from there down and then rub it all in so you go down the sideways of your nose and down the sides of your nose and then you go line there and then up line there and then up and then blend it all in and then following all of them steps and then pictures is your contour and it will properly turn out like this well Mine's kind of a dark kind of um, thingy, but to finish off the look, our eyes look really pale compared to our skin. And if you're not wearing any eyeshadow, then we don't want that, because we want them to think, oh, oh my god, look at her skin, it's like, so tanned, and like, so, god. So, you want to put a bit on your eyelid. Up to your eyebrow. You don't want it to look different, do we? Because if it looks different, then you can totally tell. So what's the point trying, you know, like, so hard on our, you know, contouring? Then I've got this bag here. So if you get the... It's just I'm really tired, that's why. I'll uh, just rub it under. Like, I, the, I really like it, like, when you put under your eyes and under your eyes. It makes your eyes look really, really wide. But you want to rub it all in, so it isn't like, because if you don't rub it in, it kind of looks greasy. We do not want that greasy that we want. <laughs> and then, if you have any spots or stuff you do not want. Now is the time to cover them up. Put your hair in place. And that is your contouring and foundation done. Hope you like this look. Um, Bye. The Contour Kit. And make sure you check out this flawless chiseled cheek contour kit. Because it is amazing. Look what it does. I'm gay. See ya. Go shopping. Bye.